TT Meets TT, Episode 6, The Old Goat. Hi all, Andy here and welcome to Episode 6 of TT Meets TT. This week it's Steve and his TT called The Old Goat. I will let Steve tell you more. The car is painted in the colour scheme of a World War II fighter, a P-51D Mustang that was flown by a Major George Dersch. As you can see from this picture, it is a dead ringer for the plane's paint scheme. If you want to find out more about this plane and pilot, I will leave a link in my video description to the Wisconsin Veterans website. This is not Steve's first TT. In fact, he's owned several Mark 1s and Mark 2s in the past. He's also owned a Porsche 911, so he knows his way around a car. Steve and I met up at a local aerodrome called Headcorn that was host to many World War II fighters during the war, so I felt this was a fitting place to meet Steve in the car. Being a fan of both aviation and the TT, this was too much of a good opportunity to miss. Corrosion and rust meant that Steve had a very awkward decision to make whether he should choose an expensive respray or make the most of his newly acquired car with this alternative paint scheme. Here are some project photos and preliminary ideas showing the progress of Old Goat through the various stages of repainting. I'm sure you will agree when you see the final footage that Steve has really taken the paint scheme to a new level. It should be emphasised this is no wrap. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you'll find plenty more content here on the Audi TT Mark 1, both maintenance and review videos. Many of these may help you with your own car. Apologies for some of the wind noise, it was rather blowy on the day we filmed. Right, let's take a closer look at Steve's car. I'm here with Steve and we are looking at his fabulous 2001 225 Audi TT Quattro. As you can see, it's painted in a very unusual colour scheme. Hence why we're at Headcorn today, because this car is painted in a Mustang from World War II's colours. So Steve, do you want to tell us a little bit about the pilot that he's based on in his colour scheme? Um, the pilot was uh, a chap by the name of George Dersch. The old goat was the name of his aircraft. All these Mustangs had various names, colour schemes, Different fighter squadrons had different markings. This was for the 359. Old Goat was the name. There's other famous lines like Big Beautiful Doll. This one is an Old Goat, which is kind of frightening, really. So that was the reason. There's no other reason for that. It's just a light name and the colour scheme. So was Steve's car standard when he bought it? Steve explained to me through the wind that the paintwork was in atrocious condition when he purchased it, and he said if you look closely, you can see the odd dent here and there which he had disguised. There was one on this wheel arch which could be seen in the original picture here and a larger dent in the bonnet which he'd hidden by putting a patch on it. So I think that's something worth stressing. This is not a wrap, this is not a respray. Steve has done all of the artwork himself with spray cans. When it comes to the artwork on this car, it truly is something to behold. Look at all of these individual rivets and oil streaks that portray the tarnish from travelling fast through the air. There is no texture here either. They are all flat and Steve has done all the detail with an airbrush. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, it, it's fascinating when people see it and they look at it, so it's in the car park in the shopping centre or something, people always want to go like this because they, they can't believe their eyes. They want they? to feel if there's a texture yeah. to it. It yeah. does, I mean it looks, it's very deceiving, it does actually look, even as far as the, the dirt marks, the oil streaks from the rivets, I mean I can vouch there is no texture there at all. <laughs> And then the whole thing was just covered in um, satin lacquer. Okay, so you've clear coated it the whole way over. Yeah, and so. then, then that was done in sections because I've got a limited space in my garage. Okay. And uh, it was a case of doing the sections individually. Got it, the front, front wings, then the move from the centre section, then the rear section. And the wheels that you're running, I see you've got 19s on this car. 19s with 245 tyres. Um, Spacers? 20 mil spacers. Uh, the wheels themselves are from a Mark II, and the stud pattern is different to the Mark I. So ah. the spacers are um, stud pattern from the Mark I to the Mark II. Even that looks like it's a panel. Even look at the screw marks. That's... Attention to detail is just absolutely fantastic. So when you say that it was a little bit rusty when you got it and the bodywork was a bit short, are there any particular areas where you can point out that 
you feel that you've actually masked quite well. If you, if, you, if you look on the bonnet. Okay. On the bonnet, there's a dent on the bonnet. I can see dent. that, yeah. But in order to disguise that, what I've tried to do is put a panel patch on the top. <laughs> so, yeah. Which is what would happen to an aircraft on the Second World War, is it? Yeah. See, the paint has actually drifted apart on, throughout its life of so the car. Yeah. So, all I've done is put oil streaks down the car so you oil streaked it and then clear coated it to seal that down yeah yes yeah okay and i can notice you've got a a front splitter on as well have you fitted that yourself yes yeah, fitted that myself um it's something that i wanted to fit on anyway but uh, it's what i've had to do to the car i've had to put uh new discs pads on the front new steering rack steering pump um, and that's pretty much all i've done to it so far so engine wise, standard performance, no filters. Standard, no filters, it's, I'll show you underneath the engine. It's completely standard. All I've done is polished the uh, charge pipe, painted the bar and cleaned everything else up. Yeah, it's very clean. Very clean. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, it's got a new grill as well. I noticed the grill, yeah. So that's an aftermarket grill. Yeah, yeah, the other one, uh, the other one was shot, so I had to have a new one anyway. It's got a rear seat delete. Rear seat delete, is that a Billy Cloud rear seat delete? Homemade. Homemade? The pipe was um, off eBay, I think it was about 12 quid. The netting, the is from the, re the rear seat belts of the old seats, <laughs> which are stitched together, and to make that. I mean, it's 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 it'll change again. I suppose it'll grow uh, in bits and pieces when it's as time goes on. I think it's really cool. I did mention when you first turned up that I think it looks even better in the flesh than it did in the pictures. Well, Steve, thank you very much for bringing the car down to show us today. Yeah, Most nice impressive. Well. And I love the World War II theme. Here are some great shots of the artwork on Steve's car to marvel at. No matter which car owner contacts me about appearing on TT Meets TT, the thing that always strikes me about the TT community is the passion owners have for their cars. Even though Steve picked up this particular car for just a few hundred pounds and has obviously had some nice conditioned cars in the past, I can tell he loves this car and he has put his heart and soul into it. There are a lot of man hours involved to make it look this way and that is not wasted on me. We even sorted out a fault code Steve was having on the car using an OBD reader I brought along so he can now go home and investigate the cause and find a fix. I was suitably impressed with Steve's car and I want to thank him massively for bringing the car down to show me. Also a big thank you to Headcourt Aerodrome for letting us use their apron for filming. Don't forget, if you too want to feature your car on TT Meets TT, then drop me a line at the email address on screen now. Don't forget to check out my other episodes of the TT Meets TT series here on the channel, as I have seen some very interesting cars recently. As always, thanks again for watching. See you soon. Take care.